Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for this soap making video. Today I'm going to take you along and show you how I've made my little gingers. These little guys have been appearing over on my Instagram page for a few weeks now. They finally got released last week and they have been flying off the shelf. I started off by making, I think it was 36 of them. I kept one of them which you'll see throughout the video so we had 35 available and I think I have now only got 12 of them left on the website so if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these little gingers you will need to be quick and jump over onto the website to grab them and I do have a couple at the markets as well. Now I've done this video just a little bit differently there is a lot more music to this one you've seen me make so many soap videos now that I basically just jump straight into actually making the soap and pouring it into the little gingerbread molds. I do a little bit of talking and then we start piping them as well. So it's a little bit more of a musical video today and a little bit shorter. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go and see how I make my little gingers. Okay, so I am ready to unmold what is actually my second batch of these. I'm, I did have a bit of trouble getting these out of the molds. You can see they're a little bit rough. This was the first lot I did and they've been sitting here for a um, couple of days before I made the second lot. So you can see that they are going to darken up beautifully and become really nice little gingerbread men. I was having trouble getting the second lot out of the mold as well even though I upped the amount of sodium um, lactate that I did from 2 to 3%. Um, so I decided to put these ones into the freezer. Well I put them in the freezer at 5 o'clock last night with the intention to unmold them after I'd had dinner. And well, it is half past eight the next morning. So <laughs> these are well and truly frozen, but as you can see, they are gonna come out of the mold so much better than the others. So I'll have to remember that for the next time that I use these. Um, but that's okay with all the others, even though they are a little bit knocked up with getting them out of the mold. I am going to be doing some piping work on them. So we will be able to hide up, hide most of those sort of nicks and scratches. They still are coming off just a little bit on sort of the, the tips of their hands there, but they are coming out so much better. So what I'm going to actually now do is leave these ones to actually defrost. And once they are then ready, I am going to make up some soap icing and we're going to come back and we are going to pipe all the little details onto our little gingerbread men. Okay, we are ready to pipe our little gingerbread men. Confession time. These have probably been sitting here for about two weeks now. Um, I've just not had time to do them, but you can see what colour they are coming up with. This is one of the ones that I actually left in the freezer 
um, for a little bit longer than I intended. You can see they come out quite cleanly. If you don't leave them in the freezer, they do come out a little bit rougher, but I'll be able to hide some of this up with the piping we're going to do. I also have this little one in here, which my neighbor's trying to take, but I think I want to keep him for myself. I'm going to be calling him Freckles because I, I don't quite know what happened. He's the only one that's gone this really funny color, but all of these others have darkened up beautifully and look like real little gingerbread men. So we're going to start getting these ones piped. All right, so I'm going to start with some green. I've had to double bag this one because I think I've cut my tip a little bit to um, the top of the bag off and it's starting to leak a little, but we'll see how we go. I won't put much pressure on here. I'm going to do them all slightly different. I'm going to do the green bow on this one and I'm just using where the sort of impression is on here to create that little bow. I am then going to grab my red and we're going to give him some little red buttons and then some of the others I will use um, green buttons and a red bow depending what I feel like doing and then I'm going to grab my white probably should have made some black for his eyes but I'm going to stick to white we're going to do some little white eyes if they'll come out that's it we're going to do him a really cute little smile hopefully and then I've got these wiggly lines on his hands and feet. What I may have to do, my white feels like it's setting up quicker than the others, so I'll probably actually just pipe all my white on them all and then fill them in with the red and the green. And that is what he looks like. He is so super cute. I think these are going to be really popular for Christmas. Let me grab a couple more. It was a long wait overnight to see if this green was actually going to come back to a nice shade and I am really really pleased with how that green and how that red has actually come up. Absolutely love them. So here is, let me find one that's got a little red bow tie. So there is the other type there. Now I decided that the white eyes were just a little bit creepy by themselves so I rolled up lots of little tiny pieces of black soap dough just to pop in the middle there and that's made them come up super cute. And even little Little freckles here he has come up absolutely adorable as well so these are going to head off over onto the cure rack and these are going to be a part of the Christmas range we're offering this year these are going to make wonderful little stocking stuffers I think I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made my little gingerbread men and if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a great one and I'll see you then bye <laughs>